In just 24 hours, humanity will begin its greatest adventure, the establishment of an outpost on the red planet Mars. Now humans will finally journey to another planet, a planet where life once may have existed, the planet our ancestors named for the god of war. It's taken us a long time to get to this historic day, but we won't be the planet's first visitors. Robots originally explored the Red Planet during the Mariner program in the 1960s. Mariner 9 of that series discovered four majestic volcanoes. The tallest, Olympus Mons, is the largest volcano in the entire solar system. Mariner 9 also found an enormous canyon system, now called Valles Marineris. These canyons are more than three times as deep as the Grand Canyon and as long as the United States is wide. The Mariner spacecraft also photographed giant dust storms, polar ice caps, and river channels, channels which once were cut by running water. Robotic landers followed during the next decade and led to a spectacular first look at the Martian surface on July 20th, 1976. That's when the Viking 1 lander separated from its companion orbiter and began its descent to the western edge of Chrysi Planitia, the Plain of Gold near the edge of an ancient channel where water once flowed. Millions of people shared the first images with excited scientists at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. 
tantalizingly thin sliver yep. of the picture. Yep, yep, that's it, that's it. New rocks. Oh. That's beautiful. It may not look like much, but it's lovely. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, I'm supposed to say something at this point. I'm just, I <laughs> just, I just don't feel like talking. Uh, <laughs> well, there are rocks. There are rocks. Yes, yes. there's rocks, and uh, there's sediment. But there, it's just, oh, it's just incredible to to see that the Mars, you know, is really there. Gauge readout complete. Suits clear. Go for EVA. My feet touched the bottom rung of the short ladder and the Martian soil below. The words of Neil Armstrong echo in my mind as I repeat the words we have all agreed to say. This is the second giant leap for all humanity. This is Mission Control, Houston. As part of the celebration, we have a message recorded on a CD-ROM by the Planetary Society in 1994. The noted planetary scientist, the late Carl Sagan, looked forward to your landing. These are his thoughts, taken directly from the old recording. I don't know why you're on Mars. Maybe we're on Mars because of the magnificent science that could be done there. The, the gates of the wonder world are opening in our time. Or maybe we're on Mars because we have to be, because there is a deep nomadic impulse built into us by the evolutionary process we come, after all, from hunter-gatherers, and for 99.9% .9 of our tenure on Earth, we've been wanderers, and uh, the next place to wander to is Mars. But whatever the reason you're on Mars is, I'm glad you're there, and I wish I was with you. After our Phobos flyby, we docked with the Antares-1, the spacecraft that will take us home. It has orbited Mars for four years, waiting to carry us back to Earth. I'm looking forward to the trip home. But as I stare out the ship's window, I can't help but think about the future. I wonder who will write the first Martian poetry, design the first Martian buildings, start the first Martian families. How long will we take to make this planet a real home? Not for a few years, but for a millennia. Mission Control, Houston. Mars, you know, is really there. Mars, you know, is really there. Mars, you know, is really there. Now, now humans, humans will, will finally, finally journey, journey to, to another, another planet. planet. Small step for man.